Hey everybody, it's mail time. All right, BB. This is from Luke from the UK. Yep, Luke Clark. What did before you open that? What did we send him? We sent him Skittles soft drink. Like I'm now sorry, Skittles like a lemonade pack. Mm -hmm. We sent him macaroni and cheese from the Cracker. Velveeta with the real cheese, and, and we like sent him Cracker Barrel. I Cracker think. Barrel, which is crazy because we went to Sam's Club and they don't have the Cracker Barrel no anymore. more. <laughs> Go figure. And then we sent him like a cracker with peanut butter. Yeah. Just stuff that they didn't have over there. It was from a live lock, he said, and uh, he sent us an email. So, shipping from here to UK is pretty expensive. It is. It is. <laughs> Relax, dude. Slow down. Well, Slow I down. Get it open. I know, but I'm just saying, like, you know. My arm ain't working like it's supposed to. Shipping from here to UK is is uh it can get expensive yeah, depending on the Because the lady name. was like, That's one expensive, you know, mac but, and cheese. Geez. But I mean I'm we're not complaining. No. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like mm -hmm. the difference between if we were to ship uh here. something here yeah. versus domestic. over there. Yeah. Going domestic. Like if you're gonna ship and that was a wasn't a it was a smaller box than that. Because they so. go by the weight and yeah. then of course the size. But just remember, if you're going to ship something overseas. It ain't going to get there in three days. Pack pack it down. Yeah. Pack it down because. Uh, uh, yeah, you're going to pay for it either way. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Just the, I'm just well, saying I mean, in like, general. You know. Well, last like. And I can I, just imagine what it costs from them to ship something to us. Well, that's like when I order know? my nail stuff from Kirsty Meekin out of the UK. It cost me $25 to get that you know so it doesn't matter if i spend to buy one bottle of gel polish or you know if you spend two hundred dollars then you don't have to pay for shipping right right but if right you, it's yeah i mean same with my nato nails if i get my nail supply yeah. again they're over in the uk so if i buy anything I'm looking at twenty five dollars just to have it shipped here. Grant you, I get it in about three days. I guess when you buy stuff from whether eBay, when I used to buy stuff from eBay and it was from overseas, and it was like free shipping. It's in the price. I'm you just, you. right. You just <laughs> never realize, like you know, it's in the price that shipping can be like that. Yeah. But you guys overseas or wherever you happen to want something, we'll ship it. Yeah. It ain't I no mean, big deal. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I'm not like I said. We're not we're complaining. Not we're just no. saying. I'm just saying. You know, first I'm ever shipped, and then you have to write down what you put, put in, in there. there. So yeah. that's the only thing that stinks is that you're trying to send someone a surprise, and all of a sudden it's <laughs> like you got to gotta tell on, them. You have to put what it on is the in the surprise in the on the declaration. Yeah, so. yeah. It's pretty <laughs> interesting how when you ship overseas, it's uh, and thanks to Petra, thank you, love. I've learned how to fill these out yes, correctly. Yeah. So yeah. that's been fun. Well, again, this is from Luke from UK. Yep. What's the he lives in Gats Gateson or Gatton. Gatton. Norfolk. Norfolk. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. All right. What we got here. What oh, the heck? I remember this is a steak sauce. Oh wow. And this is this is their version of like Heinz fifty seven. My grandmother used to get that brand all the time. Wow, we just had steak the other day. Yeah, they late too short. But grandma, my grandma, so we gotta try this. Okay. Oh, hot chocolate. <laughs> Serious? Let's see. Instant, yeah. Hot multi beverage, yeah. Cool. Try these. Four licks. Uh huh. Cool. Just add water. Water or milk? It's right here. It's on this one. It says just add water. High oh. in calcium, zinc, and vitamin C. Well, we'll do a D. video. Listen now. High in calcium, zinc, and vitamin C, D, and B12. 
All right. Let's see that one. Yeah, that's, that's we'll come back. We'll do a video later. Yeah. Tonight. Get some videos out. All right. This is. This is this is not hot chocolate. This is. What is this here? It's vanilla. Oh, it's, okay. So this is in, instant hot. Goodness. Mm-hmm. Just add water. Good. Oh, he sent me some. Because we don't have tea. no milk. That is cool. <laughs> I hope he liked the the Skittles. The Skittles didn't have no sugar in it. No. But it was, it was... sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a video on that. We'll make a video on that Skittles drink. But it yeah, was good. Yeah, it's, it's good. But it, it says no sugar. No. It's no sugar or nothing. It's no just for some reason it's sweet. Yeah. But if you like sweet and don't like the added sugar or any sugars in it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, sweet tooth killer. There. And then he sent me some English tea because I asked him to. Matter of fact, we have a rib. A rib yeah. bite. To... Well, you, we used to also use that like on pork chops too. Oh, we have that. The boneless pork chops, you can use that on there. Yeah, yeah. we can do it on the boneless pork when chops. When I seen then. the H&P, I remember my grandma used to get this. We'll get the... I think my cousin sent it from Canada because my grandmother loved that. Definitely. And then you got this here. Yeah. Does it say where it's London? Uh-huh. This is pretty cool. I'm like literally touching something. That came from, from another country. <laughs> that is cool. My door is open. My kettle is on. Come on over. It's been too long. <laughs> oh wow the smell yeah it smells like Chinese tea but this is this is biodegradable bags there's nothing like a cup of getting comfy popping your feet up drinking a spicy or three but here at PG Tips, we believe that cuppas taste even better together. So go on, say those magic words. Shall I pop the kettle on? Do you fancy a cuppa? <laughs> this is so cool. Like I said, just reading and, and just how they talk. That is awesome. Cameraman gets a little stumped if they have a strong Irish or Scottish accent. He can't understand them. No, I'm just like, I just like something like or this. Or even some of some of the Brits. If they've got a really strong accent. I'm just saying that when something comes from overseas or a different country, I am amazed that I'm literally touching something. From that another. is only over there. Right, you can't get you know, it in the United States. It's like if you if we were going over there, this is like right. you know when we go to different states, we go to right. places that they don't sell what they have here in Florida, or like we went to Puerto Rico. Right. You know, you know things over there aren't the same over here. They don't have the same things, but that's pretty cool. That is uh all right, and then he sent me some more tea. This is outstanding tea since 1886. Taylor's Yorkshire tea. Let's have a proper brew. I'm with you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let's like the stuff brew. that says on there is is amazing. Let's have a proper brew. Just imagine the commercials over there about this. Right. You know what they must Yorkshire tea. Let's have a proper brew. Well, we watch a lot of Midsummer Murder, so hey, Father Brown. When we taste our teas, we mean it's really good quality. It tastes lovely, and it's kind of people and planet. Kind to people and planet. We work hard to make brew, make a brew you'll be proud of because of you. We've been able to do lots of good stuff around the world. <coughs> Like planting millions of trees, investing in our tea growing community. That's pretty cool. 
Let's have their slogans. Let's have a proper brew. And these people's slogo is my kettle. Get my kettle on. <laughs> I don't know if these we people right. have a slogan. <laughs> Just take a moment. Horlicks, take a moment. All right. He says, some British classics for you both to enjoy, Luke and Sally. Thank you, Luke. And Sally. And Sally. All right. So we got some. And we hope they did enjoy that. Uh, whatchamacallit. The, the mac and cheese. Yeah. All right. So he sent us, and this is by Cadbury. <clears throat> right here. Isn't that Cadbury, the... the... The egg company, yeah. So we got some chocolate here. Ooh. So two of those. We got the curly whirly. Yeah, and this is all <laughs> by Cadbury. So this is different products over there that Cadbury make. Not for resale. This is... Oh, he buys them by the case or something. Well, I'm sure. This kind of the feels twirl. like it's... Like our version of a uh, multi pack bar. <laughs> then we got some of these little guys here. Chomp. This is the twirl. Mm hmm. Mm. Smells good. Mm. Oh. It's got like an airy. Like I was waiting for the crunch. That's good though. I like that. Yeah. That's almost like a solid bar, but it's not heavy. It's it's airy. It's, it's airy. Yeah. <clears throat> I like that. To where uh that was pretty good there. I'm gonna open up one more. All right, which one do you want to open? They got close? either one. We got one each. So we already did this one. Just try one. That was pretty good. It was. This one kind of. That is the. Flake. The flake. It's a crumbless, flakeless milk chocolate. That's good. This one looks like it's real grainy, like a piece of wood. That's what it looks like. Mm. But it's mm. airy also. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> this tastes richer. And this tastes lighter than richer. Yeah. Like, if you know, chocolate flavors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this tastes, this tastes like American, I would say American chocolate that I'm used to. This is like a that. lighter, it's chocolate, but it's a lighter taste. Yeah, it's not that heavy. All right, let's try it. Well, not that it's heavy. What I'm just trying to say is like when you eat something that's chocolate and it melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. that's what that twirl yeah. is more of a. Right, this is chomp. Mm. <laughs> Be made for that one too. It's got caramel in the middle. All right. Yeah, I love caramel. Let me see the package there. Oh, there. This Again, chunk, all these guys. are made by Cadbury. Yeah, I've never seen these here. Mm -mm. I've never seen the rest of them here. Let's see what this one tastes like. It's got that texture. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, just tastes like uh, caramel, chewy. Mm -hmm. You don't really taste the chocolate. You taste them more the caramel. caramel. It's thin and chocolate. the caramel is different taste. It's rich. Sometimes you get that coffee flavor. This isn't that coffee flavor. Mm -mm. That's real caramel. All right, this is fudge. Let me see the package. That's chomp. Mm. Oh. Mmm. This is the fudgy. 
Ooh, that's really good. Well, we definitely. The fudgy. Here you go, Domo. Good. <laughs> oh, we got to open up one of these because we didn't. Right. And don't worry, it's not going to go to waste. We'll be picking it up. Oh, this will be gone. Mm. This is like a. Almost like a Charleston Chewy. I remember stuff like this that Grandma used to get. This is like a Charleston Chewy. That looks like a pretzel. That's the curly whirl. Yeah. Show what it looks like. I'm going to open it up this way. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. BB's loving that. <laughs> now, this is tough caramel. Mm-hmm. The other one's soft. The other one, that I think it was the chunk. Yeah. That, right. Well, you're going to have to try this because I can't. It's got nuts in it. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut. Let's see what it is. All right, give me a break me off a piece. Yeah, this one here, if you got dentures, that'd be popping out. <laughs> Might not be bad. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's big nuts. You can't have those nuts. Yep, I can't have the nuts. The big nuts in the back. I don't know if that's raisin. What's yeah, it have in there? It's fruit. Looks like a raisin. Mm. Very different. This one's hard to describe. But I will say this much. You don't taste the chocolate until the end. Well, it's because you got all the other, you got the fruit or the nut in there. Yeah, why. I'm just saying. Yeah. You're tasting the other stuff first yeah. and then the chocolate comes towards the end. And then this here is Fisherman's Friends Original. And I think we do sell this here in the States. They're cough lodges. Cough drops. Cool, we can use those. <laughs> They're menthol and eucalyptus. I don't know if we can use those, especially me. So. The allergies at nighttime, sometimes I get the coughing. Yeah. Yeah, my grandma used to use those. That was one thing she always kept in the house. That one here, that last one you gave me, that yeah. big bar. With the one here? If you eat it with the raisin, it tastes like. Is it raisin nut? What's that big bar with the raisin bar? Raisin nuts. There's a candy bar that's square and it's full of raisins and oh, chocolate. Oh, okay, like a granola? No, no, it's a candy. Oh, I don't know. I think it's called raisin nuts. Okay. That's what, when you eat the raisin part, it tastes like that. Oh, okay. When you eat the almond, the nut part, the nut takes over the flavor and the end. Okay. But if you eat the raisin one, the chocolate's first, and then the raisin Raisins comes in that. the end. The taste okay. comes in the end. But yeah, that's, I think it's called Raisin Nets. Now this I used is, to eat those. This is Walker's Shortbread Fingers. Let's see. And this company was established in 1898. Always all butter. 
our deliciously crumbled shortbread mm-hmm. icon. Wow, 1898. Scottish, Scotland mm-hmm. at its finest. Yeah, I got that in there too. I got a whole lot of that in Son me. Oh my god. Maybe that's why I've always liked weird stuff. When grandma used to Joseph get it. Joseph Walker fired up the ovens of our family Scottish Highland Bakery in 1898 with the desire to bake the best. I guess why I guess that's why some of the stuff that I do eat it doesn't bother me because some of the stuff grandma used to get some of it her cousins would send from Nova Scotia and then oh yeah that's it's got that on. look of a biscuit yeah a dog biscuit mm. usually drink that with our tea or coffee or I have that with tea and coffee Mm. That's good. It tastes like a cookie. Without sugar or mm. okay. In Europe I don't think they use a lot of sugar when it comes to their cookies and stuff. No, I'm saying I've eaten a cookie. With that taste like that, mm-hmm. I just can't figure out what the the name or the brand of the cookie. I like if you buy those Christmas cookies. You know they have a bunch the of cookies in there. Yeah. The butter cookies. Right, that's what it tastes like. Well, yes, because it's a butter cookie. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it tastes like—a butter bread cookie. butter cookie. Yeah, that's what. I mean. All right, so we got something in here too. Uh oh. Pickles. Pickles. Branston original pickles. <laughs> all right, you're gonna have to open it because you know I can't. Well, first of all, the pickle is not moving. It's really pasty. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, you well, might Luke, need a fork or something. Luke, you just blew his you mind, just, baby. This is not. <laughs> well, we're going to taste it. So. <laughs> it says pickle. I turned it upside down. You can't even see it. And it's not even moving. That's how thick it is. All right, we got Son more. of a gun. Maybe we get some more coffee. Get a spit box. <laughs> This is pickles. <laughs> it kind of smells like Sabret's onion. Mm. Uh, so this might be good on a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a Sabret's onions. If anyone's who ever had some bread onions on their hot dog, which has ketchup in it. I wonder if this has ketchup in it. I don't know. Can't see. See if it has ketchup in it. But it does. It smells like Sabret's onion. Uh, Sweet pickles mixed with vegetables and spices. That's it. Vinegar. That's, yeah, you can smell the vinegar. But, Carrots. Yeah. Carrots. Hmm. Uh-huh. Onion, cauliflower, sugar, barley, malt. Wow. Doesn't say anything about ketchup. But it does. It does smell like... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to do this because I Jesus know he's not going to. I'm going to do it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm on that. What's that show? Uh, <laughs> that's good. I can't remember the name. What's that show uh, where they were eating bugs? Oh, damn! I can't remember. <laughs> it's like they dare you, or else you get eliminated. Fear factor. 
I have to face my fear. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I have to face my fear. <laughs> that would probably taste good on a hot dog. I have to face my fear. It does. It smells like some bread. So that's that's the only thing that's got me okay with this. But my eyes it's, are it's tangy like this. My cigarette. eyes are saying like, dude, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> All right, I got some chunks. <laughs> Time to face. <sighs> okay, Mufasa. Mm. Yeah. That would be good on a hot dog. Yeah. That's probably their version of sabrettes that we have here in the States. Except yeah. theirs is ours is all onions and ketchup and I think you can even put that on a hamburger. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could smother that a hamburger on that. Wait, that's not bad. That's really good. You taste the pickle, the the carrot and the onion. Well you taste the, it's, the whatchamacallit. It's the, just the broth is caramelized and thick, so it'll the hold. vinegar. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, my body is was doing the fear factor whole thing. Like, <laughs> dude, really? All right, last but <sighs> not least. <laughs> Definitely when we make the barbecue thing, we're going to do this. All right. Oh, shit. That's what BB likes. Coleman's. Oh, God. You know how long it's been since I've seen this. <laughs> Mustard. In fact, when we make hot dogs, we'll use the Coleman's yeah. and we'll use the Branston's. We'll do yeah. a little hot dog. Uh... Yeah, let me. I mean, that's that's good there. Oh yeah, but I think it's gonna taste real good on hot or even brats. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be dynamite yeah. on the brats. But that would go good with sauerkraut. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm just saying that Branston pickle thing. I think that would go good oh, with yeah. sauerkraut. That's good, strong mustard there, baby. Oh, no. It's got this weird smell. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Won't you try it, Miss Laughing Lots? <laughs> it's hot. <coughs> that's, I, that's... That's real mustard. That's like the German sauerkraut I had. I really wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we'll try it on our hot dog. We'll make the hot dog and we'll try that and we'll try the Branston. And just think. But it went saying, away. But it, yeah. it is. It, it, there is. But you know, it was mustard seeds like this mm -hmm. that they make this. That way back when, if you had a cold or like asthma. They would put this on your chest, and you see how it burnt your. Well, it didn't tongue? burn it, but it. it you can. It, it, you, the spice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah that. The mustard, my nose is open. The mustard seed's not diluted. It's, oh, okay. It's. Because it's. Because right now, as soon as I drank that coffee, it went away. It went away. Right. So it's just this is they're not diluting right. the mustard, and it's seed. like that sauerkraut I had from yeah, Germany. Germany tastes it's so not much different. Better. Yeah, well, to me, it didn't taste better because I'm not used to the taste, but it was different. But we'll do a video. When we make the hot dogs, we'll use the mustard, the Branson, well, you and we'll use the German Maybe thing. we'll take German sauerkraut over American sauerkraut. I mean, it's just a matter of getting used to it. But you see, regular sauerkraut, I can eat right from the jar. Right. That one there has a little taste that I have to get used to, but... That Coleman's right in the beginning, but boy, now, take, it, it took off. If you take that, that sauerkraut and then you take kielbasa, right, and you cook that kielbasa in with the sauerkraut, right, you right, don't have that taste. No, no, no. But I mean, it's good that I have the taste because then See, it just. I was always brought up with German sauerkraut because that's all my. 
Well, I'm just saying it's good that it has a different taste because then I know I'm eating something different. Mm. And it's not like if I see Billy's sauerkraut and then I see Bob's sauerkraut and I eat them too and they taste the same. Right. There was no difference between Billy right. and Bob. You know, but and but, that Germans one, it was good, but it had a weird aftertaste. But at least I know, mm-hmm. you know, it's different. It's right. not like everyone else's sauerkraut. No, so it's not. that's the good thing. Mm-mm. You know, and I'm really, I'm really surprised with cameraman because he is stepping out of his little comfort zone. <laughs> that was, was a deal or no deal there, boy. <laughs> I mean, forget the deal. That was a fear factor. But I remember Oof. the moments. But yeah, yeah, I remember. Grandma used to have this. Well, thank you, and, Luke. What and happened? I like how they tell you. Store in a cool, dry place. After opening, pop your mustard in the fridge and use it within three months. Got it. Well, thank you, Luke and... Sally. For this package here. That was amazing. Bibi is going to love all this. (laughs) Thank you so much. Let us know what you thought about uh, this in the comments. You guys send us something. Mm-hmm. We always we always send uh, thank you cards back. But if you guys send us something or you see something, let us know. And uh, mm-hmm. we're not scared to mail nobody. No. Nope. Uh, but this is bringing back memories. Yeah. For me. If you want us to try something in your area, and send this. it to us. I remember that. Oh, my God. And we'll try it out. And we'll even do a video after we try it out. Because, like I said, we're going to do a video with this. Yeah. We're going to do a video with this. Mm -hmm. And, of course, when we do the hot dogs, we're going to do a video with that. I'm assuming this is like a morning breakfast drink. Well, we'll see. To get you going. We'll read more into it in the Mm -hmm. thing. But everything is appreciated that you guys send us. Heck yeah. P.O. Box is below. Yes. 742 Kathleen, Florida. Three three eight four nine. So uh Yeah, so tonight or later on today when I have me some lunch, I'll have me some my tea. Yeah. That's one thing I have is I got tea in my house. I always have tea in my house. But that's Love my pretty... tea. I get that from my grandma. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> my grandma and grandpa always had tea. Alrighty guys. So until our next video, guys, stay safe. Take care of one another. Be kind. Don't rewind. (laughs) See y'all. Bye-bye.